Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online. I'm Daniel, one of the hosts on the Reasons I'm Broke podcast found right here on YouTube every single week. Also found on iTunes, Stitcher, and every other podcatcher around. So we're going to continue with the Gengar Chandelier deck as we go into some expanded format matches. And we've got some news today, actually, that, or yesterday, no, I broke up, broke this early this morning, that the NX would release March of 2017. And this is just stuff to talk about while the match starts, but March 2017, there's been a lot of reaction to this. And I know a lot of players that play Pokemon TCG Online are also huge on Nintendo, the handhelds especially. So March 2017, no E3 showing either. And I'm going to expand on this on the podcast this week, but I feel like this is pretty important as well because a lot of people seem to be reacting one way or another to this news. I think what people are failing to take away from this is that this is part of a financial report. So either way, this was going to come out, but for Nintendo to just say, you know what, instead of rumors catching on and having it released through there, and then having gamers wait until we have an official release or an official announcement, which we'll is let you guys know ahead of time, let you know up front that the NX would not release until then. And then on top of that, they dropped the news that Zelda would be delayed, which is pretty much standard for Zelda games anyway, that they're going to be delayed at least a few years. I was telling people, Night March, what the hell is he talking about? I was telling people that, um, I know what Night March is, but I'm going to confuse them. And I will talk about Night March. <laughs> Always trolling. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, Zelda's always going to be delayed, and people were already anticipating that they were going to delay it and put it onto the NX as well as the Wii U, similar to how they did Twilight Princess. And what happened to Twilight Princess, it's remembered as one of the best Zelda games out there. People are still playing, the, playing it through the HD remake or reissue that recently released. So remember, a delay isn't always bad, but we knew that this was going to happen. And people that think you're getting an inferior version because you're getting the Wii U version and not the NX version, talk to people who played Twilight Princess many years ago. A lot of them did prefer that GameCube version. One, because it was, it was not the mirrored version that we got on the Wii. But two, they were already more familiar with the GameCube controls than they were the Wii ones. And they both looked great. Um, they both uh, played well as, as well, so... All right, so back to the match here. Again, we are going to talk more about this. I am going to discuss it with Kelly on the podcast this week. So don't forget to tune in at thereasonsonbroke.com. You can hear more of our thoughts on the NX, on the Zelda delay, and of course, comics, movies, TV, video games, and more found every week. The episode will release this Sunday right here on YouTube and iTunes. But you can get it early if you become a Patreon supporter through patreon.com slash thereasonsonbroke. You will get a special link to the episode as soon as it's edited, as soon as it is uploaded. All right, so it looks like they were asking about the Night March deck. I, I do want to touch up on Night March, uh, the strongest deck out there. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to annoy him. I'm just going to just gonna be nice. Just Gengar and Chandelier. All right, so let's go ahead and feed our Gengar. We'll do draw threes. All right, let's go ahead and feed Gengar as well. It looks like they're going to try to put us to sleep with a sleep poison. I should probably focus on the match. Uh, we will go ahead and night attack. Uh, how much? How many hit points does Zubat have over here? 50. Uh, let's go after... Uh, we could go after Spinarak. Let's go after the Sceptile EX that is threatening us right now. So recently ran a tournament through uh, the Pokemon League that I run. And the top two finishers were, of course, Night March. And you constantly hear people uh, complaining about Night March. And that is because there aren't too many ways to combat it. I do have a player that uses a Steel deck that does uh, take out Special Energies, which is pretty crucial against Night March decks. But, of course, they are fighting back with Hex Maniac, which disables abilities. And, and it really slows you down. So there's really no way to truly combat Night March effectively right now. Not that I've seen, it seems like Night March is winning these tournaments constantly. And the new, the new news is that they just reprinted Night March, so it's not something that's going to go away anytime soon. People are waiting, like maybe it'll get rotated out. Not the case. Hopefully this means that the Pokemon Company will create something to help out with that, and something that can actually help fight off Night March. Look at that, we're down to 10 hit points already. 
Uh, we gotta do something. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and feed the Gengar EX. We're going to versus Seeker a Tierno to get three more cards. But just the frustration from Pokemon players in that so far it's just Night March decks that you see at tournaments, and it's a shame. But sometimes it's just the way it goes with when you hit a certain uh, combo that is virtually undefeatable. All right, so let's go ahead and get some uh, Professor's Letter, some energy cards onto our hand and thin down our deck. Looks like we've got two left in our entire deck. We've already fed Gengar EX. We are poisoned, so we are going to poison the Sceptile EX right back with Dark Corridor. So we'll do 60 damage onto that. We'll switch on over to the other Gengar. And, uh, I'm sorry, it's up to 90, but it does 60. They're up to 100 with the poisoning. The Sceptile EX is down to 70 hit points. Let's see if they can uh, switch on now and attack with a different Pokemon. Otherwise, they're going to poison us up with the Ariados and uh, bring us down to 10 hit points again. But yeah, with a lot of these tournaments, you'll see that it's just Night March versus Night March. And unfortunately, there's really... It's just... It's, let's see who can set up their Night March first. And I've played a lot of really good matches, a lot of great Night March decks. I've been working and refining that Mill deck, which is why you haven't seen it recently. But there are decks out there that will go through into their 20s as far as their deck goes because they can immediately pull out Ultra Balls on their very first turn, Ultra Balls with Shamans and, and uh, Professor Sycamores and continue to draw until they have their full setup and their full bench. Battle Compressors on top of that. And those decks are awesome, they're great to see and I love the speed of them. But it's just not the way I like to play. I like to play using the Pokemon that I like, uh, one of which is the Gengar EX I love. And of course Chandelier. Uh, Psychic Pokemon are one of my favorites, and there goes Gengar EX. Uh, for the knockout, they get two prizes. So they are still poisoned. Uh, we have to bring out someone, so we're going to bring out the Gengar EX. Hopefully they don't have another Lysander on hand. Let's go ahead and feed the Gengar EX. Let's put down a uh, little Litwick. Uh, we don't have any more draw threes, so let's go ahead and feed the Gengar EX. That is out there. We'll add the Rock Guard on it as well. That way, if they do attack us, they are going to have to take some damage alongside with them. So if they do attack us, they're going to take enough to knock themselves out. So let's go ahead and go after... Uh, we could go after the, the spinner act that's out there. Uh, let's go ahead and go after the Sceptile instead. The one that's waiting and I'm assuming going to attack us next, which is why it has uh, an energy already on it. So there's the night the uh, night attack. If they do attack us, they will be knocked out. So let's let's hope they don't have another Lysander or Versus Seeker. They're gonna feed the other Sceptile EX. They're gonna go ahead and evolve, and they they can go ahead and poison the Gengar EX. But they won't be able to knock us out this turn. We'll have at least one more attack. Hopefully, I can draw up a Double Colorless or a uh, Dimension Valley to try to get this Gengar out of there. Otherwise, they will be down to just two prizes. The other Pokemon news that's coming up too is that we're going to see the box art for uh, Sun um, yeah, sun and Moon very soon through Koro Koro. Usually they do reveal some new Pokemon alongside with that. And of course we'll see legendary Pokemon on the box art. So very curious to see what they do with it and what kind of uh, new type combos we'll get. Even with the starters, they always, it seems like they've been doing combo, interesting combos with those starters. It's not just grass, it's not just fire, it's not just water. It's always combined with something else, like Greninja, for example, water and dark. Really cool. All right, so we've got a Crobat out. Now they will be able to knock out our Gengar EX with one hit. So there it is. Crobat, the evolution gets uh, some damage counters on the Gengar EX with their attack. That will be a knockout. And we'll just have the regular Gengar. Poisonous Nest. And there's the Unseen Claw. More than enough to knock us out. Alright, so they take their two prizes. We'll take our two prizes. Not enough. I don't think we, we're not going to get this one, Brokats. So we get another Gengar, and we get a Chandelier. I don't think I'm going to bench the Gengar. There's really not much of a point on that end. So let's go ahead and evolve our Litwick into Chandelier. Bring him up. All uh, right, so what do we want to do next? They're two prizes away, so might as well uh, feed the... Uh, what do we want to do? We'll feed Gengar EX. We'll do a night attack onto... 
I guess onto the Sceptile. Bring it up to 60 and uh, hunt down to 110 hit points. They've got a good combo here going on. They can poison us and they've got the Sceptile EX and they've got another one that they're setting up right now. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 70 more damage. So they're poisoning us right now. Then they're going to do the Unseen Claw for 130. There it is. Brings us down to 30 hit points. Do we get a Dimension Valley? Do we get... Well, we'll find out right here in a second. Let's see. Because we can do Tierno. Let's get that right back. Get some draw support. Brings us down to 30 cards in our deck. Not giving up just yet. There's a Dimension Valley. All right. There's something. Professor's Letter. That'll get us... Uh, it looks like we got all our energies. All right. So we'll shuffle that up. We'll feed the Gengar EX. Dimension Valley. Alright, so let's go ahead and Dark Corridor, the Sceptile EX. Switch on over to Chandelier and see what Chandelier can do for us. So he's up to 130 damage. We know the Sceptile can knock out Chandelier in one hit. We can just hope that... Uh, good game. Why are you saying good game? Two prizes left. 60... Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Fail. Okay, he forgot to poison. Alright, so let's go ahead and... We're not going to Pokemon Fan Club. We are going to... Retreat. Onto the Gengar EX. And we will knock it out with our Corridor. Sceptile EX. Chandelier's back out there. We get two prizes. We get a Professor's Letter and a Muscle Band. All right, Muscle Band. So there's still a chance here, Brokettes. A very slim chance, but there is a chance. Let's see if Chandelier can <laughs> win the game. Let's see what happens. All right, Chandelier. Give me a heads. Oh, no. No, Chandelier. Chandelier tried. It saved our ass so many times. Not this time, though. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. What else do we have? We've got another Tierno. We've got a Gengar EX. Um, so we don't have... Uh, that won't work either. We've got a little Litwick here. We've got a Muscle Band. Let's put that on the Gengar EX. And Dark Corridor for 80. Down to one prize, down to two prizes. If they can get an AZ, uh, well, even then they can't uh, evolve that same turn. So it's going to be close, Brokettes. I don't know what's going to happen here. They've got a Zubat they just put down. And we've still got a Tierno. We could draw up a... No, we want to go after the Sceptile EX. They're going to have to retreat because they're not going to be able to knock out the Gengar EX this turn. Although they could Lysander, do a Versus Seeker and Lysander. It's card a card for me, I have to look at the top five cards. Okay, they can get a Lysander. If they can get a Lysander, well, even then they can't use it yet. Switch, Escape Rope. Escape Rope, I'm thinking. That's how they've got it, with an Escape Rope. Man, that was that would have been insane, though, if Chandelier won us that game if we got a Heads. Oh, I love Chandelier. Always pulls off some crazy stuff with the wins. I mean, you've all seen it with the ties every now and again. What did they say earlier? They said, uh, fail, I forgot to poison you. So there's the switch. They're going to bring out the Crobat, which has the skill dive. It does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and they got it. 4, 15, 16, 17. They got our Gengar EX. Yep. Man, that was close. <laughs> Come on, Chandler. <laughs> that would have been an amazing win. There's the skill dive. There's the knockout. And their last prize. That was good, though. That was fun. I liked it. And we're winners of one coin. What else? 11 coins on top of that. A little bit closer to that massive meter of doing something like 5,000 damage and expanded. All right, Brokettes. Right back in. 
I do want to thank any of you that are following or watching through Twitter, through the podcast. Next opponent is E.R. Deutsch, who uses Steel and Colorless. Uh, we are, of course, weak to Steel, but let's see if we can pull off a win here for our next game. And it looks like they will go first. And no basics on our end. And don't forget also that Kelly is now on Twitter also under Palpa Kelly. A lot of Brokettes voted on the podcast to uh, have her on, and she did say if she had at least 10 people that wanted her to get a Twitter, she would get one. And she's finally gotten one. She's still figuring it out. But it is fun to uh, have uh, listeners be able to interact with her too. All right, let's see their opponent. We've got uh, both Lint and a Beldum. Uh, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is, is reduced by 20. They're going to feed it with a Steel Energy. We've got a Lampent. We've got a Great Ball, Charon, and we draw up a little Litwick. Works for me. All right, so let's go ahead and draw three. We've got another Tierno we can use next turn. We've got a Great Ball. Let's see if we have any Pokemon. We've got another little Litwick. We'll take it. Hold on to it for now. We'll feed the Gengar EX and drop three damage counters on the Bufalin. Not the evolved form of Taurus, as many people first speculated when that was revealed. A Gold Breaker, if the defending Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, this attack does 60 more damage on top of the 60 base that it already has on it. If they can pull a Double Colorless on the uh, Pokemon, then we are going to take 120 at least, because they could always have a uh, Muscle Band. So it looks like a regular Skill Energy, they won't be able to attack this turn. And we can switch on over to a different one. Alright, so let's go ahead and first draw three, maybe we can pull off a Chandelier. Oh, we do have a Muscle Band, so that'll negate the, the ability that it currently has. So let's go ahead and do the Double Colorless Energy onto the Gengar EX. We'll evolve Little Litwick into Lampent. And they end up conceding the match. Yeah, that would have done 60, 70, 80, 90. It would have been knocked out in between turns with the poisoning. There we go. Awesome. Looks like we do have time for... Yeah, we have time for another. As always, at the very end, we are going to open up some booster packs. I think we opened up all of our generations last time. I, I can't remember, but I do have some breakthrough and breakpoint. Fates collide. Uh, Pre-releases have been going on this week and next. And we uh, Fates collide releases, I want to say May 4th. That one has Mega Alakazam, Alakazam. Definitely something I want to try to build upon. Next opponent is Scooter underscore 25 2002. And our avatar, we're literally a ghost, so that matches the deck. Ever since the latest update, there's been a couple of different glitches, and I know some of it is them trying to test out the Android portion of the Pokemon TCG Online, which I can't wait for. As I said on the show, it's going to be something that will suck up my time if I can play this on the go. Another thing is it's also taking a little bit longer to load the matches. But again, maybe there will be patches that will fix all of that. So right now they're calling the coin flip. And then we'll see what we start off with. We won. Uh, yes, we will go first. Shuffle that up. Look at that. We've got the same sleeves and the same uh, deck. Start off with a little Litwick, unfortunately, but we'll make do with what we have. If this is a quick match, we'll jump into one more. Do have a special energy. We've got a Tierno. They're going to go ahead and bench their Pokemon. If you were able to uh, go to any of the Fates Collide pre-releases, let me know how you did, what Pokemon you pulled. You can also follow us on Twitter, at Reasons I'm Broke, and you can show us a picture of the cards that you pulled. Again, Mega Alakazam looks great. The Umbreon is gorgeous. Uh, I'm not sure how usable it really is, but it's it's a cool looking card, and, and it's something that I give credit to Pokemon for, is that the cards look better and better. 
I remember people loved the hollows back when the card game first came out, and they were cool, but, I mean, full art hollows, you can't beat that. I mean, I would have killed to have a card like that back when I was a kid. All right, so let's go ahead and draw three. That does not help us any. Uh, might be a short match, Brocats. We're going to save that Dimension Valley. Uh, we at least do have another Tierno, so we can possibly draw up a Gengar. This one has Safeguard ability, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EXs. That's one of the reasons we have Pokemon Light like Litwick and Chandelier, because those can go through Pokemon like Sigilith and Mr. Mime. And uh, has the Psychic Attack, does 10 damage for each the energy attached to the defending Pokemon. Uh, and they've got the Rock Guard, look at that. So if we attack it, that will be game over. Hypnotoxic Laser, very popular card when it was in Standard. They're going to poison us up, they're going to flip, and looks like we are asleep as well on top of that. We flip, and we're still asleep. So the only hope we have right now is to pull a uh, rare candy and the chandelier. Let's see if we can do it. So draw up three. <laughs> There's the chandelier, but no uh, rare candy. So it looks like that will be game, Brokettes. I'm just going to draw up uh, two cards from the deck, because as always, we don't give up. We keep on going. If they have a double color list, then that's definitely game. But let's just uh, end our turn. Take the poison damage. We're still asleep. And Double Colorless will finish us off. Let's see if they've got it. Or Dimension Valley with an energy. In the meantime, no Gengars, no Pokemon fan clubs. Tons of energy. Two Dimension Valleys, not one, but two. There's a dark uh, energy onto the Sigilyph. Where's the Dimension Valley? Is it coming? They've got a Gengar themselves. Look at that. There's the Muscle Band onto the Gengar EX. And there's their very... We could use one of those. <laughs> Let's see if they fill their bench with more Gengars. Another Sigilyph and an Eveltal EX. So they've got a Dark Psychic combo going. Not a fan of Dark. All right, so they're going to pass. Uh, we are awake. Any draw support here. There's our very own Rock Guard. Let's try to get three more cards with Tierno. Look at our hand. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, three. What do we have? Anything. Rare Candy. There's a Rare Candy. No basics, but we do get a Rare Candy out of it. Yep. On to the Chandelier, which uh, heals us from the poison damage. We'll put a Rock Guard on Chandelier. Uh, we will do a double... Uh, we could do... Yeah, let's do double colors. We're not going to help them out with Dimension Valley. So if they attack us, they will be knocked out uh, if we put three damage counters on it. So let's do that. One, two, and there's the third one. And then we'll put three on the Gengar EX that's waiting here. And there's the last one. They do have a muscle band, so it's not like... Yeah, if we don't... If, unless we get a basic Pokemon, this this will be a very quick game. Will they attack with Psychic? They know what Rock Art does. They've got a Gengar EX. 30... Actually, it might be enough to knock us out. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yep, that's enough. And another game loss. Oh, not yet? Hold on. Yeah, no, I guess not. I thought I miscalculated. 30, 40, 50. I thought it was times... Uh, oh, the defending Pokemon. Okay. There we go. We got a Gengar EX. Let's go ahead and feed that Gengar EX. Get it prepared. We've got a uh, Charon. We've got another Gengar out of that. We'll bench that. Uh, we've already fed that Pokemon. We will save it. And we will just do Curse Drop. Put all six onto the Gengar EX. <laughs> that was violent. <laughs> that card almost slid off the table. <laughs> so it's up to 90 damage. They have enough to knock us out. They're going to do the Night Attack. And uh, let's see if Chandelier's Fainting Spell activates. If they choose to knock out Chandelier. Yep, they're going to do Night Attack. Let's see. Will they go after... Yep, Chandelier. Will they get us ahead this time? Heads, heads, come on. Oh, that didn't work. That's right, because it's placing damage counters. Alright, so Gengar EX, you're up. 
We got the special energy. We'll save that. We've got a double colorless. Let's go ahead and put that onto the Gengar EX. What else? We could draw three again. Let's do that. Versus Seeker. We'll use Charon this time. Reverse Hollow One and try to draw up. Maybe a Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar Spirit Link. Okay, we got a teammates. Can't use it this turn. We've already used the supporter. We've got energies on the on the discard pile. We're just gonna poison up the Gengar EX. Do 60 damage. Switch on over to other Gengar EX that has no energies on it, but again, we do have that special energy, which will be enough. And at the end of their next turn, they will be knocked out. Sigalith can't be damaged by the Gengar EX, so we need to very quickly try to draw up a Litwick so we can evolve into Chandelier again. Uh, choose a random tour special energy attached to a Pokemon in play, so they're going to uh, get rid of our double colorless energy. Night attack. Uh, who are they going after? Alright, so our active Gengar EX. Ten more damage. They are knocked out from poison. So we get two more prize cards. Little Litwick. Come on, Litwick. We got a Charon and a Tierno. We'll take it. Uh, Sigalith has that safeguard ability. Alright. Uh, we do have a Lysander now. We'll feed the Gengar EX for now. Uh, we'll save the Lucky Helmet. We've got the Gengar Spirit Link. There's 10 more damage for each energy attached to defending Pokemon. Prevent all effects of attack, including damage onto this Pokemon. So yeah, it won't, even the Night Attack won't do anything. I mean, I'll, I'll try it. It's, it's not going to do a thing. Safeguard. That's it. Let's see if they can get something else on the bench. Or if they're just going to feed the Sigalith. In that case, we'll just try to still get the little Litwick we've got. We've already got the Chandelier. We still need... Yeah, we still need the uh, Rare Candy. So what I'm going to do... Let's do the Gengar Spirit Link. Evolve into Mega Gengar. There it is. We will feed the Gengar EX. And we'll draw another three. We have a little Litwick. There's Litwick and the Rare Candy. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, we've already attached. We're going to end our turn because we can't do anything to this Pokemon. And it's there go. I'm assuming they're waiting to see if they can get another uh, EX or if they're just going to try to deck us out. But I know they're seeing that, that Litwick already on the field. Startling Megaphone doesn't affect us. Does not matter. And it's our go. Okay, that gives us a chance to evolve. All right, Litwick into Chandelier. There we go. Took a little while to register that. Now we will feed a special energy onto Chandelier. We've got an energy retrieval. That I, I we've got enough energies. Uh, we could draw three. We've got enough cards. And I think that will. No, let's go ahead and do something. Dimension Valley, switch on over to the Chandelier with the free retreat cost, essentially. And now we can start attacking next turn. Let's see what they do. Will they feed the Sigalith? Will they... Oh, Lysander, who are they bringing out? Mega Gengar EX. And it's our turn. All right, so here's what we're going to do, Brocats. We're going to go ahead and retreat onto uh, Chandelier. Uh, we'll save the double colorless energy. We may need it. We're going to feed Chandelier, and we're going to put all six damage counters onto the Sigalith. So one turn left, and we'll be able to knock it out. <laughs> Once again, almost knocked that poor card off the table. That is ridiculous, Chandelier. No mercy. Let's see. They have one turn. Will they put down a basic? Yep. And the Conceive. Alright. Let's open up some booster packs. And a special prize and some coins. Three more on top of that. Expanded part one. That much closer to the, the uh, two booster packs. That we probably won't get to. <laughs> 
just uh, don't have time to play enough to get any of those ladders. But we do get 50 coins from the uh, mystery prize or the, I don't know what they call that, that wheel that you that you spin after you win or lose. Slurpuff, awesome. All right, collection time. What do we have? I know I, I have uh, one of the rewards chest right here in our packs. There it is. So this is an uncommon. Won't be anything too big. AZ, nice. I've always debated on on putting AZ on our any of the decks. Put one of your Pokemon into your hand. Discard all cards attached to that Pokemon. Oh, we do have generations. All right, so let's go ahead and do three break uh, three break points, and then we'll do the rest of the generations. All right. Some reverse hollows. We got a lazy Froakie. Pseudo Wudo, it's a new one. Pokemon Catcher. What's in here? Zab Strika. Reverse Hollow. And look at that. Gold Duck. Break. As often as you like there in your turn before you attack, you may move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and open up another one. Let's see, nothing new yet. Durant. Fury, uh, Fighting Fury Belt. Got to use that very soon. Uh, it gives you 40 more hit points and 10 more damage to your attacks. Hypno. Once during your turn before you attack, you may leave both active Pokemon asleep. Let's do another. Another Lazy Froakie. We've got a Trubbish. Gabite. A Swana. This Pokemon does 20 damage to itself for 80. Not very usable. All right. Uh, that's, is that a new one? Yeah, it is. Lilligant. Leaf Slice. Flip two coins. This attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. Boohoo, if your opponent attaches an energy card from his or her hand to the defending Pokemon, the Pokemon will be asleep for 20. Again, not, not something too usable. Look at that Lapras, though. Along with Misty. Uh, Lapras is one of Kelly's favorite Pokemon, and, or favorite Pokemon, and Misty is one of her favorite characters in the anime, so... That's the perfect card for her. See if I can try to pull it a uh, uh, physical version of it so she can add it to her collection. All right, head on over to Generations. Three boosters. Hoping for a Psychic Energy or Reverse Hollow Psychic. We've got a Gold Bat. Red card. That's the one we saw used against us earlier. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. We've got a Reverse Hollow Tangula. Oh, I remember this one. Old card. I think it was the Fossil set. That's the same old artwork, but it's reprinted so you can use it. I'm hoping for one of these in Psychic. Still haven't drawn one. Pikachu and Chikorita playing around. All right, let's go ahead and do this one first. Oh, look at that. Venusaur EX. Frog Hop. Flip a coin if heads of this attack does 40 more damage. Poison Impact, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. I love the Bulbasaur to Venusaur line. Long-time listeners of the show know that Bulbasaur is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, so Venusaur, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur cards, whatever I come across, I always collect them. I always hang on to them. So that's a beautiful card. One that I don't own in person yet. Uh, what do we have here on this one? A Flareon EX. It's our first one as far as Pokemon TCG Online. I have two of these when we did our pack openings. Blaze Ball does 50 damage base. It does, this attack does 20 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. Flash Fire, once during your turn, you may move a fire energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. Alright, so two EXs in one pack. That is pretty amazing, one of which was a full art. Alright, there's a fire. Come on, Psychic. Altaria, gorgeous card, look at that. Uh, fairy Friend, if you have any fairy Pokemon on your bench, this attack does 30 more damage. You've got the Sylveon. And the, it's definitely the poor man's Raichu. I mean, that should have been Raichu's uh, small evolved form, dead in a. Uh, we've got Maintenance. And the Snorlax. One more. Psychic, Psychic, Psychic. Come on. That's a Slowpoke, Fletchling, Olympia. Double colorless energy. Very cool. All right, what's the last one? A Butterfree. Quiverdan, search your deck for a basic energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterward. If you attach the energy in this way, heal 40 damage from this Pokemon. Gust does 70 damage. Olympia, I haven't seen that one. 
Switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. If you do, heal 30 damage from the Pokemon you move to your bench. All right. And then the Floet. Uh, Razor Leaf does 30 for a Fairy and a Colorless. Petal Blizzard, this attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So still no Psychic Energies uh, from Generations. And that was our last Generations pack. Hopefully, once we get the next pack, which is Manaphy or Darkrai. I'm pretty sure it's Manaphy. Uh, we'll have more codes to open right here on Pokemon TCG Online. And of course, to open in person right here on our YouTube channel with our unboxings. If you haven't checked those out yet, it is on our unboxings playlist. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the Reasons I'm Broke logo at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Once again, let us know below if you went to the Fates Collide pre-release and what you ended up pulling. Follow us on Twitter at Reasons I'm Broke or Facebook.com slash The Reasons I'm Broke. Thank you so much for watching tonight, today, Brokettes, and we'll see you on the next one.